the COVID-19 vaccination was designed to help protect you from being infected with the virus. The ultimate goal is to limit the spread of the disease so that the pandemic can eventually come to an end. With any vaccine comes potential side effects, and that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Real quick, just know that we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. And you can visit cdc.gov for the latest information regarding COVID-19. But just know that if you do get the vaccine, you may experience some side effects. This is normal and it's not a reason to panic because it's a sign that your body is building protection from the virus. Some of the common potential side effects include pain, swelling, and redness at the injection site, fever, chills, headache, muscle pain, tiredness and fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, and joint pain in some cases. These side effects are generally considered to be mild, however, they may affect your ability to do your normal daily activities. The severity of each side effect will vary from person to person, but they should go away after a few days and this is the case for most people. If the pain or discomfort is unbearable, you can talk to your doctor about taking an over-the-counter medication such as ibuprofen. This would help reduce fever as well. Also, if you experience pain at the injection site, the CDC recommends applying a clean, cool, wet washcloth over the area for some additional comfort. Keep in mind that with most COVID-19 vaccines, you will need to get two rounds of shots in order for it to work properly. It seems that people are experiencing more side effects after the second dose compared to the first dose. With that said, you should still get the second shot even if you do experience side effects after the first shot. That is, of course, unless your doctor instructs you not to proceed with the second dose. If the redness or tenderness where you got the shot increases after 24 hours, you should talk to your doctor for further assistance. Or if your side effects do not seem to be going away after a few days, you can reach out to your doctor in this case as well. Real quick, if you thought this video was helpful, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. As always, to help stop the pandemic, try to do your best at practicing social distancing while around others, even after you have been vaccinated. And just a reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment because they will know more about your individual condition. And be sure to visit cdc.gov for the latest information regarding COVID-19 vaccinations and their side effects. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.